These are four things that I do to reduce my IBS flare-ups. Hey friends, welcome back to Let's Talk Health. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through four things that I do to help reduce IBS flare-ups. This can also be helpful if you have acid reflux, IBD, or other gut health issues. If you are new here, welcome to the gut health community. I like to post a lot about gut health topics and I share health tips. And I also show about my life as an naturopathic doctor. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the community here. All right, let's get into the video. So the first thing I like to do is make a tea. So I'm using two herbs. One of them is marshmallow. And then the other one is fennel. So marshmallow root is very soothing. It can help to reduce gut inflammation. And then fennel is great for helping with digestion, bloating, and gas. So I'm going to show you how I make this tea. So this is what the marshmallow root looks like. Right now I have it as a dried loose leaf tea, but you can also buy it in bags where it already comes in like tea bags. So there's the fennel tea. And the marshmallow root tea I put in one of these um, like tea holders for the loose leaf tea. And then just add the boiling water. And then I cover it and let it steep. Usually I'll add a plate on top, but um, it might be a bit hard with this. So you can also do something like a paper towel. So you wanna let that steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. It really helps get the herbs infused in the water. And I like to drink this either in the morning or at night. So I like to have it away from food on an empty stomach. That way the herbs can do their work without any food in the gut. So another thing that's really good for helping when you have an IBS flare up, if you're feeling bloated, irritated, or in some pain is going for a walk. So what I'm gonna do is get myself ready. It's a little chilly outside. Um, I'm gonna go for a walk my hat and we're gonna chat a little bit more so you might be thinking if my IBS is flared up if I'm feeling irritated why would I want to go for a walk well there's a couple of different reasons one is just by walking getting outside breathing in some fresh air it can help improve the blood flow throughout your body so it can help to send some you know, good fresh blood to your intestines, to your digestive system, which can help you digest. Uh, just by getting out and breathing in some fresh air, most people usually feel a little bit better. So that's another thing. And then also, if you tend to be someone who's, um, whose IBS is triggered by stress, like myself, I've talked about this before, um, stress can be a big trigger for gut health issues. Uh, just by getting out and like, Spending some time in nature can also help a lot to decrease some stress and then can help improve your gut health and help you feel a little bit calmer and better. So the next time you're feeling like a little bit flared up, give it a try, go for a bit of a walk. Hopefully it's not snowing like it is where I am right now, um, but yeah. The next thing that I do is some deep breathing and then I use this essential oil on my belly. I'm gonna show you what this is. So this is from the company Sage and it's called Eater's Digest, Digestion Easing Remedy. So it's a blend of essential oils. It includes fennel, peppermint, chamomile, black pepper, and myrrh. So what you do is you can apply it to your belly and then I also apply it to my wrist area. And then I smell it and do some deep breathing and it can help provide some topical local relief to your digestion. So when I do deep breathing, I like breathing in through my nose and breathing out through my mouth. There's many different ways of doing different types of breath work and breathing, but that's what I prefer and that's what I find helps me best when I am feeling some tension or if I'm feeling bloated or just a little bit upset stomach. 
And for the last tip, I avoid foods that can cause irritation or worsen inflammation. And I focus on having foods that are easy to digest and that are more soothing. So the foods that I try to avoid would be things like coffee, spicy food, greasy food, any type of fast food. And then I'll eat things like oatmeal, smoothies, soups, stews, and cooked vegetables instead of having something like a salad or raw vegetables. So I just wanna show you one last thing. I wanna show you the oats that I usually eat. This is even when I'm not having an IBS flare up, just on the regular, the types of oats that I use. So these are the oats, they are sprouted rolled oats. And because they are sprouted, they're a little bit easier on the digestive system. So they're helpful if you have difficulties digesting food. All right, well, that's it for this video. Those are my four favorite tips and things that I do when IBS flares up. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to join the gut health community here and see more videos like this one.